So OpenAI has just released GPT OSS and it has two variants. One is GPT OSS 120 billion and the other one is GPT OSS 20 billion parameters. And in this video, we are going to test the capabilities of this model with Klein. We are going to use this model through Open Router. We create an API key and then we'll use that API key inside Klein. So you can see on Open Router, it will cost you $0.09 per million input tokens and $0.45 per million output tokens, which is like really cheap. But if you don't want to pay anything at all for this model, you can download this model locally on your computer so you can use some Something like LM Studio. I have installed this model on my computer using LM Studio, but it's super slow. I mean, based on my GPU, which is like only RTX 2070, the performance of this model is really slow. So if you have a better GPU, maybe you have like RTX 4070 or 4080 or 4090. So you can just like run this model on your computer. But for this video and to show you the demo, I'm going to use this model through Open Router and we'll see that what this model is capable of and can we create a fully functional mobile application using this model. We have used other AI models like Kimi K2 and Quen3 and those models are like really amazing when it comes to like writing. But now we have to see what GPT OSS is capable of. So before we start, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on that like button as well. And if you have any questions in your mind while you're watching this video, you can leave your comments in the comment section. All right, the first step is make sure that you have downloaded Klein on your computer. So you can just like download VS Code and inside VS Code, just go to extensions tab. And from here, just make sure that you have installed Klein in here or maybe if you want to use Roo code, you can just use something like Roo code as well. So both Klein and Roo code are kind of similar, but I prefer Klein always. So once Klein is installed, make sure that you have set up an empty Flutter project. To do that, you can just like go to your terminal and then you can just run this command, which is Flutter, FLU double Flutter create, and then just give an app name, just give a name of your app and then press enter, and then it will create an empty Flutter project. Now the next step is to set up our open router API key. So you can just go to settings tab. From here, make sure from this API API provider, you just choose Open Router, and then from the model, make sure that you choose OpenAI GPT OSS 120B. Just keep in mind, this model does not support images, and this model does not support browser use as well, and it does not support prompt caching as well. So our main concern may be like during development of these apps or like during wipe coding, is we need to input images because whenever we are running a project, and if there is an error, we want to like share that image of that error, or maybe like if there is a kind of a reference user interface, we want to share that with our like AI coding agent. So I think if your model doesn't support images, so it can be a bit challenging during development. But for now, just to test this model, let's just go ahead and make sure that you have like provided all of the details, make sure that you have provided your open router API key. So make sure that you create an open router API key, just go to openrouter.ai, just sign up using your Google account, then just go to your key section and from here, just create an API key and then provide that API key inside open router in here. Once everything is done, just simply press plus. And now let's just start giving it a prompt. We're gonna start with a basic prompt and we'll see what it will come up with. And after that, then we'll actually give the further prompts. So I'm just giving this prompt, which is you are inside Flutter project. I want to create a budget management mobile application. Please create a high quality interface and add basic functionalities. I'm not mentioning any functionalities right now. And we are going to completely rely on our AI agent, which is Klein, and then on our GPT OSS, which is our AI model. So this is the prompt. And now I will simply just press enter. And now let's just see how it will perform. Right now you can see we have faced an error which is API streaming failed, open after midstream error. Okay, let me just resume task or maybe I'll just, I can just like create a new API key and then provide a new API key. Okay, so we are having this error, but I can see in here, I can see my request in here, which is fine, which is from Klein, but we are having this error. Okay, perfect. Now it has responded and now it is sharing this plan, which is I'll help you to create a budget management mobile application in Flutter. First, let me just understand your requirements better for a budget management app. Okay, fine. Core features, technical implementation, design preferences, and functionality scope. All right, so it has just like created its plan. Now let's just go ahead and start with development. And now you can see it has just like started understanding our project. So, and right now it just reviewed this pubspec.yaml file. Okay, so now it has just given this error, which was client uses complex prompts and interactive task execution that may be challenging for less capable models. For the best results, it is recommended to use Claude's for Sonnet for its advanced agentic coding capabilities. So Klein has just mentioned that because we are using a less capable model, that's why it might not perform as expected. So now after editing our main dot dart file, now it is just asking us to run this application by running simply flutter run. And now after that, it has again stopped. Fine. So I'll just run my project by simply just flutter run, press enter and see if our project actually runs. 
Fine, now it is asking me should I run for Windows. So I'll just run it for Windows. Press one. You can try following this station. Okay, fail to update packages. Okay, so it has not updated the packages. So apparently we need to install all of the dependencies. But for now, client has just like continued and started creating other screens, which is like transaction dot dot file. And now client wants to edit this file, which is pubspec.yml because we need to install all of the dependencies. So let's just wait for client to finish this task. By the way, it has just mentioned that this task was completed. Uh, let me just try again. Flutter run, press enter. And now let me just, okay, same, fail to update packages. All right, so let's just share it. Share this error in here. We are getting this error, please fix it. Press enter to see if it can fix this error. The provided dependency version has been updated to 6.1.5. Perfect, fine. Let me just press Flutter run again. Press and now same error. Okay, again, let me just provide it again, same error. So now again, it has just updated the version. It is asking us to run our project Flutter run. Okay, perfect. So now apparently packages are being installed. Now it is building our application for Windows. Amazing. Okay, fine. So, so far the cost, the overall cost for this particular task that we're trying to execute for last, I think, few minutes is $0.0714. Is this best model to like develop anything? The whole point of making this video was just to like test the capabilities of this model. And you have seen already that client has mentioned that because this is less capable model. That's why client might not perform as it will perform with Cloud for Sonnet for its advanced agentic capabilities. Okay, so now it has just run this project and this is the default template that we can see on our Flutter. So this is a default Flutter template. It has not updated our main dot file, which is like, which is our main, you can see our home page of our application. So it has not updated that. So let's just go back and ask client to like update our main screen and then connect other screens with our main home screen. So let me just press, okay, so it wants to actually execute this prompt, which is Flutter pop. Let me just run this command. So now it is creating a new screen, which is budget provided dot dart file. So this is a new screen, but we still need to update our main dot dart file. So once it will finish this task, then I'll ask it to create, update our main dot dart file. So client wants to read this file, which is main dot dart file. Okay, it has automatically detected that it needs to read and then edit this file. So let's just wait for it. We can just like look at the changings. So let me just run the project, which is Flutter run. And now we can see it is now building the application. Let's just wait for it to run this application. So there is a fatal error in building this application. Okay, fine. I can now just copy this error. Please fix this error. So now it is asking client wants to execute this command. I'll just press on run command. Apparently that command was failed. Okay, so now let me just try to run my project again. Flutter run. Let me just run it on Chrome instead of like building it for Windows. So let me just run it on Chrome. So far the cost is only $0.1, but this was not the best experience that we can expect from like an coding capable AI model. So again, it has just run this project, but again, we are seeing this demo screen, this demo homepage. So let me just ask it to, we are able to run our project it is showing the demo home screen. So I've just asked it to update our demo screen with our own home screen. So let's just see if it can update. Again, there is this error, open router midstream error. I'll just press on a resume task. Let's see if we can continue. Client wants to read this file, which is main.dart file. Okay, we need to update this file. Main.dart file is the main file. So we need to, sorry, that's the main, like main home screen file. So we need to update that and import all of our other screens in there. Again, same API streaming failed. Let me just press on resume task. This is not a smooth development experience, but I mean, since we are just testing it, the whole point is just to test the capabilities of this model. Can it actually develop a mobile application or at least a basic version of a mobile application? Okay, so let me just run this app on, I think not on Chrome. Okay, so now let me just run this app. Client will try to run this command, flutter run Windows, fine. It is building an application for window. Apparently it has completed the task. Okay, so perfect. Finally, our application is running now with our own home screen but it is very minimum i mean there is no other like button to open a new screen but yeah for sure it has like created a very basic 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 budget tracker application now we need to like update this home screen and then link all of the other screens with our home screen so this model can be used to write code but probably this should not be your main go to you option you can choose something like kimi k2 or is something like quen3 i think both of these models are like super cheap but performs really well when it comes to like coding tasks so i hope you really like this video if you have any further questions just leave your comments in the comment section i see you next video